Hello, it's me looking very shiny after work today. So I'm going to be adding a few people and then get my first unboxing of the night done. Um, where I've been away for a few days, I've got a couple of boxes to unbox for you tonight. So let's see if we can get some people watching. And then get my first box open. I'm excited about this one because it's nice and big and I like a big box. Okay. Add some people, hopefully a few more people around this evening than last night. I'm still not knowing what day of the week it was. I was thinking it was Monday yesterday. It's been a long week already. There we go. Add a few people. Hi Maria! So tonight, my first unboxing is going to be the Natural Beauty Box, which I'm very excited about because I don't know much about this box. Um, I do know that it's all products that are natural, vegan and cruelty free, which is fab because I know that they are improving pretty much month on month the quality um and matching up next to non cruelty free products so i'm excited about what's on here hi bex i think i've got a bit of a delay on my comments hi carry on we've got a few of you watching my trusty scissors because i haven't opened this one at all it's a little bit bashed unfortunately and um i was very lucky to get this one because the my hermes deliverer Left it behind my bin. Luckily, managed to grab it before it got soaking wet. Oh, hi, Kate. I do miss you. I hope you're okay. Kate has deserted me at work. She's so mean. Right, I'm going to try and do this tape. It's very well taped without stabbing myself. I hope I can get in. I can't really complain because I don't know if any of you ever receive a parcel from me. It is always got tons and tons of sellotape on it. I get a bit carried away. Right. Almost there. Break into this box. I have. I dyed my hair. I meant to do it ages ago. It just faded. Um, so I thought I'd better do it before I run away. Hello, I'm going to guess. Oh, is it Katie or Mel who's watching? Just in time, because I can't, I can't, ooh. Ooh, it smells really nice. Hi, Mel. Oh. You know when you open a box and you just get like a whiff, it smells like a Terry's chocolate orange. Ooh, I'm intrigued to see what's in there. So we've got a nice little natural beauty box sticker on there and a delicious smelling box. I'm excited already. Oh, so I've got a little note inside from the lovely Emma at Natural Beauty Box who sent me this box to review. So this is the September box and it says, Michelle, thank you for taking the time to review September's Falling Leaves box. Hope you enjoy. Many thanks, Emma. So, like, ooh. I've just given myself a paper cut, so I may bleed throughout this one. <laughs> You're not having it if it's up to you at now. I've just given myself a paper cut, so hopefully I'm not going to bleed all over everything, because I need to take some pictures with that blood all over them. Anyway, each month, Hi Claire, has a different theme. How can you not stand, ugh, not like orange chocolate, Sam? And September's theme is falling leaves. So, ooh, I'm not looking on the back of that because it tells me what products are in there. Sorry, I'm not really bleeding. So we've got some lovely, to match the theme, red paper there. Ooh, try and take the sticker off. It's really hard to take stickers off of tissue paper when you want to rip everything open without, oh, I'm not doing very well, without tearing massive holes in it. Ooh, 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 almost. There we go. Ooh, I like you. 
So you can see, I'm going to do a quick peek so you can't see everything that's in there. But we've got, I'm loving how it is wrapped like past the party. Lots of little separately wrapped goodies in here and you probably couldn't see them but there's like little maple leaves cut out of, I think there's a few different colours in here, cut out of tissue paper as well so they're really cute. I love that they go with the theme. So, oh I don't know what to go for first. It's, it's like, it's like my birthday. I love unwrapping things. Pretty good job being admin, having to unbox lots of things, but I like opening things. So I'm going to go for this one because it's not wrapped and it's got a name on it, but well, a fragrance on it that I'm excited about. So it is a Luxury Sugar Scrub Lillian Jones Signature Cinnamon Zest. So I've not heard of this brand before, but I think, oh it's this. It smells divine. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it. It smells so good. It's kind of like a chocolate orange, but with a hint of cinnamon, like a warming, spicy scent. And the more you sniff it, the more kind of cinnamony it gets. Ooh, it's exciting. I do. I love a scrub. I'm going to try and, can I open it? That I can open the bottom. Oh, this is exciting. I thought it was going to be like a packet inside there or a bottle or something, but it's. Oh, it smells so good. Seriously, smell it. Go on. I know a few of you can sniff, sniff your screens. We need to smell a vision. It's got like a creamy. I'm imagining there's probably sheer butter or something because it's got that kind of really moisturising feel about it. And maybe the sheer butter is what's giving it the kind of, or maybe even cocoa butter is what's giving it the scent. Oops, I can put this back in. See what's in there. So that's the instructions. So our wonderful new organic luxury sugar scrub is packed full of skin loving ingredients including cocoa butter, so that must be the chocolatey scent I'm getting, as well as peach kernel oil known for its anti-aging properties. Fragrance with essential oils are scrub bars designed to exfoliate while delivering nourishing lotion direct to the skin. Rub bar over wet skin in the bath or shower and as the butters melt they will leave a sugary scrub. Work this into your skin and rinse clean, leaving you wonderfully soft. That's brilliant. So it's basically like a exfoliating scrub, but also got the moisturising element there as well. I have, you probably, I don't know, I've got horrible skin on my arms. I can't remember what it's called. It's got this horrible name, but you get like red dry bits. It's not eczema, it's like, they look like spots, but they're not. And I, I use a lot of scrubs. So I'm really excited to try this because it's kind of like a scrub and a moisturiser in one. I think already, just for the scent, that might, I don't know, I hope it's not my favourite because then that means something else is even better. I'm going to go for the next one that isn't wrapped and then I'm going to start unwrapping things. Ooh, so this is a little one. It's Oso Natural Deodorant Cream Neroli and Grapefruit. But it's in a little tin. I thought it was going to be lip balm. It's not. I've tried a natural deodorant. Um, I got in another box not that long ago. And I was still on the fence about it, if I'm honest. I think because I like the convenience of using a roller. And I think if it could be... Ooh. Oh, that smells... Oh, this smells gorgeous. I think it must be all the essential oils they use. Oh, see, that smells good as well. I was saying, I really like the convenience of a roll-on. Um, so, I'm a bit... I wish I liked natural deodorants more, but maybe it's just because I'm used to using a roll-on and just grabbing it and not thinking, and maybe the more I use the natural one, the more I get used to having to kind of rub it on and things like that. So, perfect for trial and travel, will last four to six weeks, so that's quite a long time. 
in there. I guess you only need a tiny bit. Rub a pea-sized amount between fingertips and massage into clean and dry underarms. Reapply if needed. Mm, so it looks like the main ingredient in it is cocoa oil. And then you've got cocoa butter in there as well. Ooh. It does, ooh, and vitamin E. So I know vitamin E is amazing for moisturising things. I don't know if you're all just being very quiet this evening or whether my comments have stopped because the last thing I've got is JC saying cinnamon is such an autumn flavour so it may be that you're all just amazed I think or I've put you to sleep with my croaky voice today so I'm going to grab this one ooh ooh it feels like it's got a you can tell I'm the one at Christmas who shakes everything and sniffs everything yeah Hey, you are still there. <laughs> Put me to sleep with my dulcet tones. At Christmas, I like to guess everything that is in my packaging, and I can tell. I don't know if you can hear it. It's got like a dropper. <gasps> Ping up a raffle. Well, I'm unboxing now. That's cheeky. Ooh. Literally, like. Everything in this box, I'm loving so far. So, we have got a sandalwood and orange for dry and damaged hair, hair repair oil. So, I take, unfortunately, quite a lot of medications and they dry my hair out. I also have coloured hair because I get crazy white hairs so that nobody needs to see. Um, so, I put hair mask on really regularly and every time I wash my hair I have to condition loads and leave it in and I always end up putting some kind of oil on after I've washed my hair so I'm hoping this smells as amazing as everything else did I'm trying not to chuck it over myself oh yeah, it's a tiny bit in my hand oh it's really it's really subtle but nice. I imagine it's quite an oily oil. So it is. It's got argan oil in. I really like argan oil. I use argan oil in my hair, my skin, everything. So it's got loads of different plant oils, which is cool. So you've got argan oil, hemp, coconut, and exotic essential oils of orange, sandalwood, and yang yang. It's a nourishing treatment oil to bring health and life back to dry and damaged hair. Warm one or two drops of oil between your palms to create a soft sheen across both hands. Then massage into the ends of your hair. Do not wash out or rinse. For an intensive treatment, massage the oil into your scalp, roots, lengths and ends of your hair. And leave on for at least an hour. Then wash as normal. So it looks like you can use it as a hair mask as well so I might try that um on Wednesday because I don't work Wednesday so I can have my pump a day and try all this out um and I love using a hair mask at least once a week so I think I'll probably try that after I wash my hair and see how it is hopefully it won't make it too kind of greasy <laughs> I'm not saying her name now because I'll wake mine up too they're very naughty. And then I'm going to see how it works out as a hair mask. I love kind of dual function products. Sorry, I'm un unwrapping the next one without even seeing you. I don't know. I think this is a little pot or something. It's definitely round. Ooh, I think it is a pot. It's this. So... These are all new brands to me as well. I don't know if I said what this one was. Freya Luna is the brand of the hair oil. So I've not heard of that one either. You can tell I'm really not very up on my natural beauty brands because if I'm honest, they all used to be a bit rubbish and they were never kind of as good as non cruelty free, non vegan products. So kind of steered clear of them but in the last year or so they seem to have massively kind of upped their game oh i think this is something that mel's gonna like it is a t-o-s-e apothecary 
vanilla and coffee butter lip scrub handcrafted in London mm. it's gonna smell lush as well oh. it smells like freshly ground coffee beans oh god right I do have a bit of lippy on but I can't resist I get really dry lips so it's perfect I don't I don't think it's so hard or I can lick it off or I'm not. Mm. Oh, that's amazing. Mm. It doesn't say. Mm. It tastes delicious. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, no, you'll love this. It's basically... I think I could probably just eat an entire tub of that as it is. I have a really sweet tooth and I love coffee. Um, oh, it tastes delicious. And if it's going to work... Right. It's got kind of... Obviously sugar in there. It's got... Coffee, seed oil, some kind of coconut oils and fruit oils and vitamin E. So all the products you want to keep your lips soft and lovely and it tastes. Sorry, I've got sugar all around my mouth now. It tastes so good. Oh, now you need to be able to smell this. It's so, it's so good. It tastes like... Tastes like a latte, basically. This box is spoiling me. This box it may make me look well. It's already making me look at natural products a different way. And there's more. I've just found more stuff hidden under this one. Okay, what is it? Just trying to guess. It's quite heavy. Hmm. It is quite a tall tub of something. Oh, Mel, you're going to hate me for having this box. You are absolutely going <gasps> It's not opt yet, I don't think. No, it's not. But it might even be better. <laughs> so I'm covered in tiny little falling leaves. As per the theme of this box, it is a Terry Verde, which is a brand I've not heard of before either. It is, can you read it now? An orange coffee cleansing mask. I love masks. I'm addicted to masks. I have more masks than anybody in the world need and I love them so let's have a gonna have to, this is definitely a sniffing oh now see that I didn't expect oh, it smells so good I better not sniff too hard though because I don't know if you can see without me chucking it everywhere you know I like to track my product oh I'm going to have to tidy that up. It's a powder. <laughs> Mel, I'm imagining one of Mel's comments is going to be, I'm banned. Um, yeah, so it's a powder. Mix a small amount of powder with water or floral water and massage on the face and other parts of the body as needed. Wait until dry for up to 20 minutes and wash off. So it's powdered Moroccan lava clay, kaolin clay, I don't know how you say that one, which I'm sure I've heard of that stuff, and I'm sure it's really good for your skin, I'm sure I've got other masks that are made out of that, um, cornstarch, ground coffee, cocoa powder, vit more vitamin E, because it's amazing for your skin, uh, and sweet orange peel oil, 
Smells so good. So, this box, I was thinking when I first saw it, I was thinking, oh, people are going to think that's a little bit pricey. And I've still got another. There's at least one more thing in there. I'm just going to try and get the dust off. There's at least half a mask stuff in there. I reckon, once it's mixed with water, this is going to make a lot of masks. It doesn't say how many it does. So it's 50 grams. That's a big... I don't know how, how much I'm going to need for her one. But that's going to do a lot of masks. I'm looking forward to trying that one out. This box is 24.95. So I was thinking, oh, people are going to say a little bit pricey. But actually, I'm in love. I love them all. And goes with my little bunny bug. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even make this cup of coffee. So my husband picked a good mug. Got like the cruelty free kind of label on it. Right, I think there's at least one more thing in here. There is. So we've got a little leaflet that has lots of different Terry Verdi products inside and it looks like they do lots of amazing things. Oh. I'm going to have to hide that from myself so I don't end up buying everything from their website because their products look amazing so lastly I don't even know how many one two three four five so this is the sixth product in here is an Eden perfumes another brand not heard of we match your favorite perfume handmade paraben fee phthalate so it's a 10 mil, so that's a decent size sample. Let's see if we can get it out. Ooh, I'm terrible at opening these little boxes without kind of breaking them. Mm. Can I do it? Can I do it? I can never like smell other ones other people's ones that I've bought as presents. Oh, I can't get it out. It's stuck. <laughs> so, right, I push it out that end. Wow, actually, so I, I was thinking our oh, 10 mil was quite big, but actually, it's really big. Hi, Jen. So, it's the last product in there. So, I've had six amazing products so far. I'm quite picky about perfume. If I'm honest, I'm quite a fan of Victor Rolf Flower Bomb has to be my ultimate, oh, broken it, my ultimate favourite. And then, oh, I'm confused, it's definitely a spray bottle. Oh, you pull it off. So Victor Rolf Flower Bomb, ultimate favourite, against quite like a bit of Virang Princess, Boss Bottled I think it is. Um, so I'm quite picky. Right, so I haven't got anything on at the moment. Ooh. I like you. So it's quite floral, but not old lady floral. It's like a fresh... Oh, it's really nice. So it's like a fresh, fruity, floral perfume. And like, almost perfect handbag size. So I do have little hands, so probably not the best size showing you of that. But yeah, that, it's not something I would normally go for. But it's really nice. I'd really like to see how how it lasts as well. Because I like I like a perfume that lasts. So I'm hoping it'll be on still for bedtime. Right, I'm just gonna have a quick check. I think the rest is packaging. But I don't want to miss a product in case. So ooh, and 
throwing little leaves everywhere. Underneath my green packaging, I've got some kind of biodegradable paper strips as well. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with all of these. Tidy them up at some point, I imagine. <laughs> I'm going to be finding these all over my house from now on. But, oh, I love the little touch of the confetti in there. So I'm going to give you a quick recap, then obviously go over how much the box costs, and that will be it for my first unboxing for the night. So as you may have just seen, no, it's definitely not bath confetti, it's definitely tissue paper. I'll end up dyeing myself funny covers if I put that in the bath. So we have the perfume, which I think is a pretty good sample size, really. 10ml is definitely bigger than the ones you generally get in the post from free samples of things. Perfect for sticking in your handbag. So as with everything else, it's vegan and cruelty-free. Every single product in this box, vegan, natural, cruelty-free. Love it. Smells really nice. <laughs> Hot. Seriously, if it was bath confetti, that would be amazing. This, I don't know. Literally, I can't pick what my favourite product is at the moment. I think I'm going to have to test them out and see how we go. Definitely going to love it though. I love a mask, and clay masks are amazing. My skin is a bit ugh, at the moment with the changing weather, so a clay mask is going to be really nice to get my skin back to normal so this is the terry verdi 100 percent natural orange coffee cleansing mask and it's a powder which i've not i don't think other than the had dermalogica powder scrubs but not masks i don't think i've had a powdered mask before so that will be to add to my collection <laughs> I think I'm probably just going to have a pamper day on Wednesday, Jamie Lee, because I'm not working on Wednesday. Um, so the next one, which is perfect for me and my horrible dry hair, is the Sandalwood and Orange Hair Repair Oil, which smells lovely as well. Literally, there's nothing in here that doesn't smell delicious. Probably one I'm least excited about just because I'm not used to using them and I probably need to use them a bit more to get used to it and get away from using a roll-on is the Oh So Natural deodorant cream which is neroli and grapefruit. So that's little tin there. They say it will last four to six weeks which I think is pretty good amount of time to be able to sample something and try it out. Nextly, another one of Mel's probably favourites in the box is a TASE Apothecary Vanilla and Coffee Butter Lip Scrub. I've tried this and I'm just going to end up eating it I think. It smells so good. It smells exactly like a vanilla latte and so that is amazing. And then lastly, so we have the little leaflet from Terry Verde in there as well. Lastly was the product that I could smell as soon as I opened the book. Well, I didn't, haven't even opened it fully. Is the Lillian Jones Signature Luxury Sugar Scrub cinnamon zest and do you know what if this is good i really hope it's not really expensive because it is the perfect scent for me i love cinnamon things and um, it's got kind of it's like a cinnamon terry's chocolate orange and i don't know why cinnamon terry's chocolate orange doesn't exist yet but terry if you're watching I want one. i'm really excited to try that so it is instead of being in a packet or a tube or something like that it comes as a block and i can feel just from touching it that it's full of amazing oils like cocoa butter and things like that it just feels really moisturizing and lovely sure oh, beauty box wise 
no there's no perfume uh no perfume there's no makeup in here but this is perfect for the change in weather it's got amazing scents that go with the the theme of autumn and falling leaves things that are perfect for you kind of dealing with that horrible change and what it does to your skin and things so what have we got on here Ooh. box contents is amazing I love it when they work it out for me so they've put on here the box contents is £65 so this box is the September box I'm not sure if there's any available yet but if you want this box maybe check out tonight um, it's £24.95 so on the higher end but if you think the contents are worth £65 yeah the contents are worth £65 £24.95 even if there's a couple of products in there that aren't for you you could I'm sure people would love them and um, if you don't like the coffee ones Mel will probably bite your hand off for them and I don't think we have a code for this box if I'm wrong I'm sure Mel will correct me down in the comments down there and I'm sure she'll ask very nicely to see if we can get one but I am I'm so happy and I think it's probably the perfect box to get me into trying more cruelty free products and not thinking they're all rubbish like they used to be in the 90s <laughs> I still think the 90s was 10 years ago oh I'm intrigued so there is a little October box reveal on here and I'm going to share it with you guys because I think it's really exciting so it says next month's box will contain a full size luxury 100% natural face cream worth over £50 so even just for that like that's the box is half the price of the one cream they're going to be putting in it and each month's box has five to six products in it so I've got one two three four five so I've got six in this month um maybe it's going to be five but it one of those five costs 50 pound recommended retail that's amazing Ooh. as usual they've got a competition lots of boxes do this now um so if you share pictures on instagram or twitter um you can potentially win a box heart oh, i've made up other than the fact that i've poured face mask powder on my keyboard during this I always do something like that it's amazing oh I need to hurry up and take my pictures and get around to trying it on so that is unless anyone's got any oh one more thing so I write myself a nice little notes down um eat. I love this little bit from it so each box they sell 50p from each box goes to charity uh, they choose at the end of each quarter which charity it's going to be I'm presuming it's maybe natural related ones um, so that's just a really nice touch as well that you know they give some money to charity from your box because most of them there are a few but most of them you know there isn't money going to charity so it is you know, you're doing good for charity. It's it's your donation to charity. <laughs> if you need to talk yourself into buying it, I love it. I think if I was watching this video, I'd be like, oh, I need that box. And I think Mel's probably on her computer now trying to get one. Right, any questions before I zoom off? I'm not going to get changed in between videos because I'm tired. It's the end of the day. But I will be back in couple of minutes with a the anonymous jewellery box so I shall see you in a minute because there's no questions take care everybody see you soon bye